dear clients, welcome to Philip Capital's weekly market watch. I'm Benjamin, analyst from Philip Securities Research. Today, I will share with you an outlook on the Singapore banking sector. Earlier this year, we noted that we had witnessed a NIM expansion of 5 to 6 basis points for DBS and OCBC in the early part of the year, and suggested we could see NIM trending downwards of about 2 to 3 basis points for the coming quarters. Indeed, OCBC's NIM was normalised by 2 basis points in 3rd quarter 14, but DBS has managed to bump it up even further, bringing their NIM to the highest seen in the last 9 quarters. UOB's NIM on the other hand was largely flat year to date. Our house view was a gradual rate hike in 2nd half 2015, which would uplift NIMS and earnings and with US labour data looking increasingly healthier. We think this supports our stance for an exciting FY15 for the Singapore banks. Our sensitivity analysis on the three banks also suggests that for every 10 basis points of name improvement, EPS growth ranges between 6 to 7 percent, with DBS at the highest end of the spectrum, due to their lowest cost of funding through their high CASA deposit ratio and most liquid SGD balance sheet. Our Singapore banks expect moderate loan growth momentum in FY15, with year-on-year loan growth of high single digit at best, in effort to preserve margins. We think that underlying loan growth in Singapore remains weak with an expected drop in housing loans from lower mortgage applications. Growth is likely to be driven from regional contributions, and China seems to still be the best bet. We observe recent weakness in some ASEAN currencies, especially so for the Malaysia Ringgit. Malaysia Ringgit has depreciated 4.2% against the Sing dollar, while Indonesian Rupiah 1.7% against the Sing dollar. Loan balances in Ringgit for UOB and OCBC stood at about 13% and 11% respectively, what is insignificant for DBS. Profit before tax for Malaysia for UOB and OCBC was 17% and 21% respectively. These suggest possible lower loans growth and fees, higher credit costs, and weakening of overseas contribution for both UOB and OCBC in fourth quarter of 2014 through the first half of 2015, as we do not yet see signs of economic improvements for Malaysia in the near term. However, Depreciating ASEAN currencies effect will be cushioned by strengthening greenback and Hong Kong dollar. While Singapore banks have significant US dollar loan exposures, suggesting positive impact on loans growth from the continued appreciation of the US dollar, Hong Kong dollar has also strengthened about 2.6% quarter to date against the Sing dollar, which would benefit both DBS and OCBC to a lower extent. That is all we have for you today. For more information, please log on to Poems and refer to our reports on the companies. With that, I come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching this week's Market Watch. Please, subscribe to us on Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook. Stay tuned for more Market Watch videos.